You were at the Fitzgibbon Cup last night. Shane Conway gave an absolute exhibition. Can you just describe how good he was? Ah, he's top class. It was the same uh, last Saturday. There was a gale blowing, like a gale blowing across the pitch, and his frees were just, they just stayed dead on, mm. straight down the middle. You think he missed one free last night? Um, it's not even that. You can ki- you kind of you're kind of looking at him and you're thinking, okay, he's not particularly big. He's not particularly strong. He's outrageously elusive, and despite his size, he can actually control a game. When he gets on the ball, there's always a temptation from the opposition just to dive in and foul him because you know he can get away from. Him. He got a score in the first half where he threw two or three different dummies and just made a bit of space mm-hmm. for himself. Um, and I'm just thinking about it after and I was chatting to a fellow there beside me from Bennett's Bridge and just saying like the best player on the field is from Kerry. Like and that's two. That's nearly two years in a row because I was down at the Fitz final last year, and it was the same. I've seen him play in the flesh four times, and he's been, if not the best player, the second best player on the pitch every time, mm. and can just control things. And it's a funny one. You know, you know the way you often look at uh, score tallies, and you look at matches, and you see like Shane Conway, eight points, maybe seven frees or eight frees, and you're thinking, oh, he hardly did much damage mm. from play. But he probably won three of the free. He won two maybe frees last night. Got two from play. He's so influential, and particularly even at county level, you look at his scores. You know, he got 11 points against Offaly last year in that Joe McDonough Cup match. If you're looking at that in the cola a day, you're thinking, oh, he was only a hit and freeze. He won probably three or four of them himself. He's just, um, yeah, he's unbelievably elusive. Yeah, he's so, his, his, his wrist as well, and if he gets a shot at goal, invariably he will score. He's top class. Because they got ni- um, UCC got 18 points. He scored nine, seven frees, like you're saying. One of his scores, somebody hit him. I'd say it was it was an unsympathetic pass cross field, and the way he just kind of guided, like got the stick down, guided straight up into his hand, his own 65 straight over the bar. The thing that kind of sticks out to me is when he hits the ball, it's like a good golfer. It just seems to t- launch off in a in a manner that doesn't even seem realistic. Like he's just got an unbelievable strike. It's hard to know why. It's that good, but it's amazing to even watch. Yeah, and you don't even think it probably should be going as far. as You're looking at him and you're thinking, this lad probably shouldn't have that sort of power. Um, but he has the power and he has that accuracy. Yeah, I'd say like his, his free percentages, even looking, looking at Kerry, well over 95%. Like mm. he's, he's class. It was great to see last year that they brought the cup back to... Uh, brought it back to, is it Kilmaley he's from? Or K- Kilmaley? Or, or like, no, I'm not actually sure. But they brought the cup back across the border into Kerry after the one last year's Fitzgibbon. Is, is it, oh, wait, I'll look it up. Yeah, and it was just like, it's such a big deal. Like He was voted Fitzgibbon Hurler of the Year last year. Kerry Hurler to be voted Fitzgibbon Hurler of the Year. And that's not uh, a tokenistic thing. He's just that good. Mm, he has it down here that he was um, born in Lichnaw and Con- uh, Conway was the first competitive uh, Hurler at the Causeway com- Comprehensive School, so um, that's what it says there. And but like he is unbelievable. Would he get on most intercounty teams? I mean, it's it's the obvious next step of uh, where this conversation is going. Yeah, I I do think he would because you're looking at it and you're thinking, do, does he get into the Tipperary forward line? If he's not the if he's not the main, like we we'll just say, Callan is the main man, and that's the maybe the main focus. Mm. <laughs> He'd absolutely thrive. Uh, because he's going to be on maybe not one of the better defenders as well. Still a good inter-county defender. But with Kerry, he gets the sole attention and he still dominates. With another county, I genuinely think he could slip in. Um, especially the way Hurling has changed and the way that it's a bit more possession-based. Obviously, he's going to have to win his 50-50 ball and he can. But if you're giving him a 60-40 ball or a 70-30 ball or you're playing a running game where he gets on the ball and can look his opponent in the eyes, he's going to be unbelievably hard to stop. Plus, you have a free taker there that's going to put over... Yeah, probably nine and a half out of ten frees that he's going to hit. Like, I got confused for a minute about the clubs because Causeway, I think, won it last year for possibly the first time, and I was thrown off. He is Lichna, but um, did you see that video earlier on in the year when Kerry were playing in the Munster Hurling League against Cork? Buffy can put up a video mm. of him sliding away from must have been three or four yeah. Cork lads and scoring from distance. So I think he's already proven that he can do it against the, the better teams, even when. He's not in a team that's dominating, so you just... Kieran, oh, King, Kieran oh. Kingston was just up from me there, two or three people up from me, and I'm just thinking, geez, I'd say they'd love to have him. Mm. I'd say that I know that they, they have no shortage of forwards, but I'd say they'd love to have him. I think any county would love to have him. Mm. I, 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 I do think he'd make any, any forward line in Ireland. Um, he, m- he mightn't have a forward line built around him, but he'd be just be he'd be an excellent file for someone. He'd just so he's just so dangerous. Let us know if you think he would make the top teams in Ireland, and if there are any other players that are operating outside the Liam McCarthy level that are kind of like other unheralded gems like Conway.
Thanks for watching our game. Don't forget to like and share the videos and if you're new to the channel, hit subscribe.